I, I really don't know what to say. Part of me wants to yell something like, I expect a better from you, son, but I'm all about standing up for the little guy. You're all tiny to me, after all. <laughs> but against all evidence pointing to the contrary, Ina is very much not the little guy in any situation. Ever. And if she was, you really should be a little wiser about who you pick fights with. Oh, great. And this happened. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that that asshole, son of a beast, a beast, a beast, where's the beast, was Lord or whatever? <laughs> hey, we don't use that language here. That's how we call them pervs that don't respect a lady back in my town. Making mothers a subject matter is not respecting ladies. The patrons insults Mars all the time, and I ain't never seen ya complain. And since when's that seen our desert shrub a role model? Ever since I lost my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he abused me just as much. <laughs> what are you sneakering about? It's kind of your fault too. I guess. What in the name of Hatsa are you laughing about now? Quit hollering, she don't know what's going on. Ina, Ina, I'm here. Just let me go with her. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. I keep my guards well behaved, I expect no less from the citizens. Ada, mindless violence is not the solution to your problems. I thought you knew this already. Ada let his head rest against the bars that covered a small window in the door, making sure to give Ilegrabi's meanest look. Oh yes, that's mm. such a mean look right there. Yeah, it looks like he's sad. <laughs> Look, I'm sure this is all just some big misunderstanding. I know Burbis. His train of thought is a bit weird sometimes, but he's not I'll a- say! But he's not a bad kid. There has to be an explanation for this. He was literally undressing her. That's he was a... what was happening. <laughs> he's a creep. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to hyphen. <laughs> I ain't nothing got nothing to hyphen. To hyphen. <laughs> Kid, I can barely understand a word you're saying. You're gonna stay here thinking of what you've done until Burbis wakes up. If he wakes up. <laughs> Come on, Ida. It's time for you to go home. Steve, 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 but I swear by Haima that I'll break you across the coals if I find a single brick out of place and add a cell when I'm back. Are we clear? Aina nodded eagerly. Ilegrab gave her a dubious look, but he seemed to be in too much of a hurry to make sure she'd stay put. <laughs> Break into other cell! <laughs> or actually keep a promise for once. Well, this is new to me. Uh, hmm. Pre-song oh. break! Pre-song break! Pre-song break! Do you want to break into a cell? <laughs> oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> 
Too bad Elagrub forgot to say anything about the cells window. Aina took a brief look into the room from outside. To the city's guard's credit, the dungeon was actually considerably nicer than Geoff's house and definitely safer. No beast or Makadar would find other there. That was athletic. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't take Aina much effort to bend the iron bars and sneak her little body in through the window. Aina! <laughs> oh, Aww. Adder didn't waste a second and he immediately, he immediately threw his arms over Aina and began smothering her with half incomprehensible cries that were most likely meant to be reassuring. They soon derailed into some sort of lecture. Sob. I'm, I swear by the free and all the small gods that I ain't never going back to the tavern with ya, ma'am! <laughs> Other hugged her with a force that would have destroyed anyone's ribcage for a good ten minutes, but Aina didn't have the heart to stop him. You mean literally she didn't have a heart to... <laughs> <laughs> when he finally pulled away, his nose was running and his face all wet. Anyway, I'm glad to see that piece of crap didn't hurt ya. Sniff. That knife looked so sharp that I couldn't tell, but... Wait, didn't Neela Grab just tell you to stay the hey out of here? Boys! Other took a hand to his face, bubbling about the trouble she was gonna drag him into. And there it was, that strange mark again, but now she could see it in all the detail. A hand-shaped dark mark on Adder's chest that was most definitely not there last time she got a good look at Adder's chest. Mm. Hmm. Adder's chest. <laughs> of course, Adder noticed that she'd noticed. Air. Ah, ah, what's this? P poison? Oh no, Burbis must have caught me! Ah, praise the gods, I ain't dead! Aina made it clear that he was about to be very dead if, if he didn't begin to spill the beans. I, I really thought it was just a burn. A hand-shaped burn? Other didn't seem to be lying, but he clearly wasn't telling the truth either. Aina inspected the mark up close. Long, slim fingers and a small palm. It clearly couldn't belong to a deer. Lacking excuses to do so as often as she'd like to, Aina put her hand on his chest just to be sure that it couldn't be one of her kind either. Which of course left one people and one girl. The gazelle. Detective Aina is on the case. Sigh. Yep, it's just what you're thinking. Aina's ears perked up immediately. Others smiled tenderly in response. I wasn't lying for once when I said I could read minds, boss. I mean, it ain't like I can't hear your thoughts or anything like that, but I just sorta... No? Sep yes, if the gazelle was talking about earlier, she taught me how to read the, the Hatsta as it passes through ya, following the trail of emotions all your lives ever left in it, through nothing but your very eyes. You know, I just realized something. Yeah. That's the same power I gave Cosmo in my Sonic fanfiction. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to feel about this now. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, mind reading and a few other things. Aina made her best attempt not to look at other like he'd grown another head, but it wasn't a very good attempt at all. I know what I saw, boss. I swear I read her mind. 
but I got too close to the fire and ended up burnt, which I didn't start. I didn't start the fire. <laughs> it was always burning since the world's been turning. Now, when I call for her, she don't answer, and no matter how much I try, I haven't managed to use my powers ever since. What am I supposed to think anymore? I feel like I'm going crazy over here! There, there, she meant to say, ruffling his brown hair. She meant it this time, however. Aina had no doubt that other had seen something, but that something was in his own mind. His nightmare would chase him out of his sleep and hide in every shadow. It's not that Aina thought him crazy, of course, he was just naive, anguished, and a little bit delusional. <laughs> but he's not crazy! <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> a couple of compliments and some suggestion and the boy would have thought himself a machada. No, he definitely saw that memory. Aina could almost picture the scene. Some saucy gazelle with the gift of the gab burning sign or root convinced the other that he had powers beyond his imagination for just a Doro and free set -epas. The rest of the evening was free of charge because, of course, it was. <laughs> Aina put that bitter, absolutely not jealous train of thought aside for a moment. A burn? Why would he think it was a burn? No matter how much Aina waited and impatiently tapped her boot against the ground, other didn't say another word on the matter. A small smile appeared on his face after a while, heralding a story, as it always did. <laughs> well, you see, thousands of years ago. <laughs> you know, boss, there is only one reason I wanted that whole gaze reader business to be true. Guess why? Anus glare could have frozen the whole step. Right, uh, what I mean is that you gotta think of the answer. Boss, come on, I wanna stop being the fawn that cried, Beast! A beast! I saw a beast! Look at me and let me prove I can do this. Indulge him or refuse. Let's indulge him. <laughs> Snort. <laughs> Fine, why not? It couldn't possibly hurt. Alright, look me in the eye and don't move, okay? Think of something with all your strength, like you were putting your whole mind to it. Aina shut her eyes for a moment, trying to think of... her feelings or an insult. Hmm... Uh, I'd say her feelings, but... Uh... Okay. Aina opened her eyes and nodded. Much to others' delight, he shoved his face right in front of hers and began staring at her with such an intensity he could have burned a hole in her forehead. Minutes passed, others' face became more and more contorted every instant. His snout was wrinkled, his jaw was jutting out, and he was completely cross-eyed. Aina's thoughts clashed against each other as a mean smile spread across her face. <laughs> Doth thou not want for thy sweetheart to be as sweltering as me, thou bed swerver? That's an interesting thought there, Ina. That's an interesting insult, bed swerver. Others here sparked up. As his eye focused on Aina again, the smith immediately took a step back. She hadn't even opened her mouth. He couldn't possibly have. Aina and other didn't have time to say another thing. A key began hitting everything but the lock, marking the end of her visit. Ada, 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 please tell me you're still there. <laughs> Ila Grab nearly slammed the other cell door open. He finally stopped saying other upon seeing said boy calmly sitting on the bench. 
Aye. Yes. I am. <clears throat> hey there, lad. I have some good news and some bad news. What do you want to hear first? <coughs> um, the bad? The good news is that Burvis is alive and well. He'll wake up soon. The bad news is uh, you and I are going to be taking a stroll to the marketplace. How's that bad? Uh, are you familiar with the words attempted magnicide? Uh... I don't like where this is going. Don't worry, I'll explain on the way. Off we go! Hold up! What do you mean by public execution? Well, that's escalated quickly. And that's the end of chapter two. Okay, so... This happened. This, <laughs> this escalated happened. quickly. <laughs> this escalated pretty fast, yes. Okay, fun fact. Had you chosen not to break into others' jail... Yeah. Aina would have had a scene with Jasif. She would have shown up, and the two would have met, and there would be some sort of implication that they both knew each other beforehand. Oh. Honestly, that would have been a much more interesting scene. But we chose to break into the cell, so we've gotten that instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, though. You've actually followed Geoff. In your first playthrough of this, you said? Yes, I did. It was a was... bit of a waste of time, honestly. So... Ah, okay. I just wondered if there was anything different. Yes, there is Geoff really, really, really loudly freaking out about the idea that Adar was dating Jasif because he figured out what was going on. Ah. <laughs> yes. So, that's a whole can of worms right there and there. That's the end of the Acid Knight. That's all that it is currently available for this game. I hope you enjoyed this ride along with us. Uh, we most certainly did enjoy it. You should play it for yourself and wait patiently for Chapter 3. I want it now, dang it! That's one uh, spicy I'm... cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so invested in this story so much so. It's a really well written story so far. I'm really invested in these characters. Yes, me too. Honestly, I need more of Sep in my life right now. More of Jasif, <laughs> please. Yes, I would like Jasif, please, as well. Yes, I would like a good healthy dose of Jasif, please. Actually, <laughs> should we play this chapter all over again and just get the Jasif ending? It just depends if we can skip all really fast to the choices. Yes, yes we can. <laughs> Drake? What? Where's the door hole? <laughs> It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. <laughs> you were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. <laughs> I see the problem. Oh, do ya! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.